Hello folks, welcome to Ellie's Place. Today, I'm so fed up with what's going on with the LGBTQ. I wanted to do a video not only exposing them, okay, to the straight community or the cis community, um, but also to the LGBTQ community because I get the feeling a lot of their members have no clue what's being done with that movement, okay? I fought long and hard to get that movement in place to get equality for gay and trans people, to get acceptance for gay and trans people, and now it's been hijacked by lobbyists and activists who are using it and defaming it and labeling it for their own financial gain, okay? There's a lot going on right now that's crooked with the LGBTQ, and I'm going to be naming a number of things that they are doing simply because people need to know, okay? And I don't just mean straight people, I mean gay, trans, and lesbian people as well. You need to know what they are doing with the LGBTQ, and I really think you need to pull away from the LGBTQ. Do not support their parades, do not support their events. They are crooked, okay, and they are using you. They're using you like sheep, and they were using me up until about a year ago. I supported them. I wore my little my little pride flags and stuff on my labels. Uh, I did a, my last video at the barbecue here in town, well, simply because it was only the second one ever in this town, and I felt it was of importance. But at that time, I had already basically pulled away from the LGBTQ because they're all virtue signaling idiots, okay? These lobbyists and activists are pushing things too far and it's causing division amongst people not only amongst people of straight people and you know that all them is it's causing division within the lgbtq community i.e me okay i pulled away from it i denounced them okay and i'm going to give you a list of reasons why i did so let me start out with the lgbtq spent years and years and i was one of them crying about inclusivity and and then and then all of a sudden when they get it they choose to start excluding people okay um there was a parade here in london uh and and in toronto where they would not allow the police in the parade okay i uh, hear it was in uniform but in toronto they didn't want them in the parade at all so to me that's exclusivity so you're saying okay now that we're included you're excluded okay and that's not right so basically they are now choosing who to exclude and as you see christians are on that list uh, if you can if you know the story of what happened to uh, david lim the pastor david lim okay the uh, basic okay the, the LGBTQ community has aligned with the Black Lives Matter community, okay? And the Black Lives Matter community, they're very much like Antifa. They're just bullies. They're just, they're hired bullies, okay? And that's, they're no more, no less than that. And they're the ones who threatened to stop the parade if the police were involved in the parade. I don't understand what the problem with the police being proud about being LGBTQ or being, being happy to support us or you guys not me I'm single I'm solo <laughs> but to support the LGBTQ like uh, that's called inclusivity okay but you're excluding them because the Black Lives Matter told you they told you to so when the fuck did Black Lives Matter be become LGBTQ okay seriously those two organizations have fucking nothing in common you're bullying people, okay? I, uh, what happened with Pastor David Lynn? He was there and hadn't even said a word, and they were up holding signs, calling him names, and all this other stuff. That to me is bullying, okay? And you are only doing, and actually, Lindsay Shepard was another example of your bullying. You would not talk to any press unless they had a little app, okay? Anyone else was excluded exclusionary exclusionary you understand you're crying about inclusiveness but you're excluding people see how stupid that is and do you understand how stupid that is okay 
because I think it's really stupid myself. And what you did to Lindsay Shepard was a it was a travesty of justice. Okay. You're pushing children to be gay or transgender, and that's one issue I have a serious fucking problem with. Okay. Children should not be pushed or, or manipulated into believing they are gay or transgender. That's something they can decide on their own when the time comes, when they're old enough, okay? Or if they do when they're children, fine, but let them do it on their own. They don't need your fucking help prodding and pushing them and, and then pushing drugs on them. That comes later. <clears throat> Look at just two examples, okay? The Amazing Desmond and Lactatia. Lactatia is a Canadian, uh, uh, one of them, what do you call, drag queens, okay, mini drag queens, and Desmond's a drag queen in the States. Both infested with the LGBTQ, and now, at 9 and 10 years old, they are being paraded around clubs where there's drugs and alcohol, and a bunch of sick fucking people who are trying to pervert them, okay? I see what's going on. I'm not stupid, okay? I've been around your bars. I've been around your parties. I know what you do, and I know how you work, okay? These two kids should be taken from their families and put in care because they are being totally corrupted by the LGBTQ community, okay? Now let's get into your crooked sex ed programs, okay? You, you've been hired by the um, Liberal Government of Canada to basically uh, create sex ed programs which I find disgusting when you're bringing dildos into little six-year-olds and telling them to take it up the ass so they don't get pregnant what when the fuck did that become part of sex ed back when I was a kid sex ed was two charts with a male and a female body and they showed you where all the organs were and what the parts were okay that was fucking sex ed no one ever brought dildos into us and, and showed us how to use them. And that, that's just disgusting. And you people fucking disgust me, okay? Seriously. Bill 89. Let's get into Bill 89. That was passed when Kathleen Wynne, the classical lesbian, was pushing her bullshit on Ontario, okay? Her inclusivity bullshit. And she got a gay convicted pedophile convicted child molester to write Bill 89, okay? Or to write the changes in Bill 89. Which now state, if your child says they're transgender, the parents have no say, okay? They have to bow down and allow the school to fucking start pumping drugs into these fucking kids. That pisses me off. A lot, okay? They're children. They should be playing with fire trucks and riding bikes, building forts, and doing all that kind of fun stuff not worrying about sex and worrying about fucking like I said if they're transgender they can figure that out on their own okay but they should not be given any dangerous drugs they should wait till they're a certain age 18 to 20 or 21 and then they can go through the transition everyone needs to go through puberty it's an important part of deciding who you are mentally physically sexually and emotionally all those are decided by puberty okay I went through puberty I'm okay so anyway, Benjamin Levy is the pedophile who wrote the uh, amendments to Bill 89, okay? I find that disgusting, that you would allow a pedophile to be involved in Canadian law, okay? And this is, this is the downfall of allowing perverts like you to control anything, because basically you... And I'm talking to the lobbyists and activists here. I'm not talking to the basic members of the, of the community. I'm just talking to the lobbyists and activists. You people are perverts, okay? You pervert everything. And I don't mean sexually pervert. I mean you pervert everything in every way. Our freedoms, our rights, our children's rights, our children's freedoms. And you're, you're, you're laughing because you're making money all the way to the fucking bank. You're laughing. And we're fed up with it. I'm fed up with it. So you're taking money from the Liberal government and Big Pharma to push puberty blockers on young children, okay? That's a crime against humanity. I'm sorry, but that is. That is a crime against children. What you're doing is you're perverting children. 
Look, you're manipulating and perverting children. And, you know, there's a time where Alex Jones was saying the same things. And, and you know, I could see his point. I disagreed about a few things he said about, about transgender people. But seeing what's going on, I can understand why he flipped out the way he did. Okay? And why he now hates transgender people and is getting all his followers to hate transgender people. And so is Steven Crowder and so is Paul Joseph Watson and all these other fucking people. Okay? So, basically, I'm not okay with child, children doing puberty blockers. That, that's... No. 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 Go away. The creation of Bill C-16 to push the multi-gender and pronoun agenda, which is meant to divide society, okay? And it has. But it's dividing your community, too. Because there's a lot of us who don't agree with it. I will not even partake in a conversation with anyone tells me that I have to call them Z or Z or Zem or whatever. They can fuck off. I have no time for them. They're stupid people, okay? And what you're doing, you're helping the liberal government to divide society. You're helping to divide people and turn people on other people. And you're laughing about it. Why? Because you're being paid by the liberal government to do it, okay? C-16 was a travesty, and when I read that bill uh, f about six months before it was passed, I said, I don't want this bill passed. I, th there's too many gray areas here. And it was billed as the transgender law. It was billed as something that would protect us, okay? But it, it's afforded us no protections. It's a little bit of recognition within the government, but we should have had that anyway. So all you've done now is you've allowed perverts and pedophiles and sickos to use the guise of transgender to get into whatever washroom or change room they want. That's going to stop very soon, okay? Because I'm fighting this. I'm taking this to higher platforms. I've only got so many people on my YouTube channel, but I'll tell you right now, other platforms I'm going to have a lot more people, okay? And I will be exposing you and this agenda. And all these, all these agendas. And I'm telling you right now, your reign of terror is coming to an end very soon. Trust me. And one of the C-16 creators was uh, Morgan Ogre. O.J. Ogre. He, look, he looks like an ogre, okay? Anyway. He then used, after he got it passed, he used it to sue someone for calling him a man. Which he is until he can prove otherwise. I think he is too. Okay. I don't see a trans woman there. Uh, you know, uh, like me, I'm only two years into a seven year transition. This person claims they've already transitioned. But I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing that. Um, from what I see from him, uh, he's a scammer. He's, he's using transgenderism as a way to make money. Okay. And he made $55,000 off some Christian guy. Because this Christian guy call him a man. Well, you know how many people call me a man all the time? I've never reported them and I don't sue them. Because I'm not a fucking pussy like Morgan Ogre, okay? That Morgan Ogre is a fraud. I'm telling you right now. And I'm going to expose him, okay? So, anyway. Uh, and the same person, Morgan Ogre got a women's shelter in BC defunded because they wouldn't they didn't have transgender females on their list of people to help. Okay, understand something. Those centers are are very limited in their abilities, okay, and they can only take in so many people. When you've got someone who's transitioning who still has a penis, I'm sorry they don't see him as a female. Okay, unless they are fully transgendered, or fully transitioned, they're seen as male. Uh, I'm still seen as male, okay? So understand you cannot defund necessary women's shelters out of anger. Instead of working with the women's shelters or working with city council to change the curriculum of these shelters, that you go ahead and you bully them and you sued them and got them defunded. Okay, and I, I, for that, I spit on you. I spit on you, seriously. That's what you get from me, okay? You uh, assholes. And Morgan Ogier, Ogre, 
you're a fucking asshole too. Seriously. And I'm going to be exposing your sorry ass. Oh, this war is just starting. Sogi123. Oh, there's another program I wanted to get back into again. I have yet to release my number three, Sogi123. I released part one and two. But this is a travesty. This whole thing is a travesty because the school board and the school itself has no say in this program. This is totally run by LGBT groups and factions, okay? It's corrupt. It's it's doing it's doing the same thing. It's it's basically conning kids. It's basically manipulating children to believe they're transgender or gay. And there are, are, are they're, they could be ruining lives and they don't even care because they're profiting from it, okay? They're getting a lot of money to do this. I will be exposing a lot more in Sogi123, but that whole program is an open door to pedophiles. And if you look at the curriculums they're given, that's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get some pedophilic teachers who are going to take advantage of that, of that curriculum. Okay, and I'll explain that in Sogi123 Part 3, which is coming out very soon. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work to that video, so. The worst part, I think, of all that I'm, that I'm looking at right now is that pedophiles, who are trying to normalize themselves as a normal sect of people, like LGBTQ, have now attached themselves to the LGBTQ. Not only will the LGBTQ denounce them, they accepted them, okay? Now, and I want all the LGBTQ members who don't know this to know this. Pedophiles are now part of the LGBTQ, okay? And I, I'm so repulsed by that, seeing that I fought so hard to get that put into place. And, and I'm very discouraged that if, if you don't pull away from the LGBTQ, you are labeling yourself along with pedophiles. You are aligning yourself with people who rape and molest children, okay? Not good. So I'm asking you to have a serious look at the LGBTQ and what they're doing. The info's out there. I'm not the only one saying it. But I'm the only trans person going online saying it. I'm the only trans person who's speaking out about all your travesties and all the bullshit you're pulling simply because I came from a time where common sense mattered, okay? I, had a, I came from a time where we had free speech and we had rights and freedoms, okay? And now you are being paid to take all those away from people, me included, okay? So just understand, I'm coming after you people. This is just the start. I've got a whole list of things that I'm going to be coming after you for. And You're I'm on the list. Exposing okay. your asses at every turn. You're on the list. And Morgan Ogre? You're number one. You are a liar and a fraud, okay? So anyway, and you look like Herman Munster's sister. But anyway, I'm going to sign off now because I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. I'm going to leave some for part two. There's going to be a part two to this because there's a lot more involved. But it's just I haven't had time to research yet. So I want some more time and then I will release part two of LGBTQ Exposed. Okay? Anyway, I want to thank all my subscribers, my new subscribers and my viewers. You guys rock. And I hope you'll spread this video around. I hope you'll spread this to people who, and you know, that are in the gay community, who might be gay, lesbian, or trans. They need to know this, what's going on, and what their, what their names are being associated with. This is a corrupt movement, okay, who's been taken over by radical leftists, um, lobbyists and activists, basically. And they will not stop. They will keep going if we don't stop them, okay? Spread the news. Uh, I hope you all have an awesome day. It's a beautiful sunny day here, and I'm going to go enjoy it now. <laughs> so I hope you all have a great day, and we'll chat again soon.